Hello, I was just uh, making this video of the Shang Dynasty um, wine vessels that I have listed on eBay. I just want to show you some of the close-ups of the decoration and how this was formed. So here we see these mythological uh, creatures. I'm not sure what they represent, but this is what it is. If you look here, you can see the mismatch here where this was welded down the side right over here this side is higher and it came down here this side is off it was welded all the way down here you can actually see maybe part of the weld came over to here it comes all the way down that's basically what we have and this piece down here right here was welded all the way around this is a separate piece from this from the base here so this is one piece this piece here is separate and then it was welded again for the base here you can actually see like the corrosion on the base here all up in here here let me shine some nice little dark in that area. Okay, here. That's what we have. I want to point something out. We're going to look at this second vase here, the one with the rack on it. I'm going to call this the rack up top up here. If you look underneath at this pattern here, let me show you, right underneath here, let me lift it a little bit. This pattern underneath here with that, um, I don't know what these are here, I don't even know what to call it, but I'm going to point it out to you. It comes around this way, it comes around, and then up. Same on this side. This way comes around like this so if you notice you see one on that side you also see it complete on this side you see it complete on this side and this last side you also see it complete now we're going to take a look at Vase number two, the one that don't have the rack on it. I'm going to look the same pattern coming around. It's supposed to be interlocking here. So this side, you see it. You see it here, both sides. Come around here. You also see it on both sides. Come to the third side. The pattern changes. They made a mistake. They actually put this pattern here down here. You can see how it's missing. This is missing here. This is not supposed to be here. This is supposed to come down and interlock and go around. But this pattern here is the same as this pattern here. So when they fit, when they welded this and repaired it, whatever they did with it, they put the wrong pattern at the bottom. Let me turn it one more side. And this this side is washed out. Also, you can see here, you don't see the pattern anymore, but it's the same pattern though, it's just underneath here, is washed out in here. Inside they have a plate, something is welded in here, uh, with this pattern chain. Let me see if we can pick it up with the light. can't pick it up in there but anyway it's a plate welded inside of there well, while we're inside we look at the detail of this thing you can see how thin the walls are see something going around in here 
this here. I'm not sure what that is. It goes all the way around. Look at some of this pattern here on this side. Over here. These handles are hollow here. If I could pick that up in there, inside of here, it's hollow. This one, you can see clay inside, right in here. The white clay is still present. And that one. These are those tiny holes that are, that are throughout. It looks like almost like weep holes where uh, fluids can leak out of this. Let me see where another one is. Yeah, there's several different areas on here. Let me spin it. Let's see what the other one is. Look at this one here. You can actually see the burr. Like this was, was poked out from the inside out. You see the burr. It's all the way going all around. Let's find another one. Here's another one here. There's another one. Now if you look here, where this dragon is in the center, if you look off to the side here, there's something here that we're, maybe this held the mold. Let me see if I can get it. There's not much I could do with that. I'm just trying to pick that up for you. But anyways, something was here where actually was holding this uh, away from the mold. It's on this side, and I spin it 180 degrees, and you see it over here. But this one was never ground down. This one's still hot. The other side was ground down. This one is not ground at all. So this is actually raised. I could pick it up. Right there, that one is raised. It was never ground down. You can see the bottom of it right there. It's a good view. Point it out again. It was right in here. That was never ground down. Now we look at this one. You see the same. You see here was ground. It's on the same side. That one was ground smooth. Spin it 180 degrees. You see, this one was ground. So these, I'm assuming, were holding the uh, what gave us the gap between the mold, um, the two pieces of mold where they could pour the um, the bronze inside. Let's see, go take a look at this one. Here's where we have this, where this was actually cut all the way down, and it came over diagonally. Looks like this thing was spread. I guess this corner here was in too too close. It wasn't squared. In other words, it wasn't 90 degrees. It was pushed in too far. In other words, if we look at the decoration here, you see how tight it is. Tight, very tight all the way down. Here, you can see how it was how it's opened up. Big space in here, big space here, big space here all the way down. Where here is nice and tight, almost touching, if you will. Right in here. So they had to open this thing up because it wasn't uh, wasn't squared off. It wasn't a 90 degree corner or something like that. That's what I'm assuming. It comes all the way down. It comes this way. And then they just filled it in with the uh, with the weld. Just showing you some detail. Here is a piece of bronze. I guess that came out of the mold. That's not on the other one. It's on there pretty good. This one has the rack. This one never had the rack. If you look here, you can, you don't see any like it's not broken or anything. It was never it was never on there. You can 
See here, was nothing ever welded to this one. Basically showing you some of the detail of this very intricately intricately done. Take a look at the bottom. Tip it down so. See how the bottom came. It's just a plate on the bottom. It was a nice thick weld or something was under there that kind of broke loose. It's a bronze plate actually. Take a look at the other one. See right through this one. So this weld, whatever this is here, around here, actually broke loose. But this plate is separate, just a real, real thin plate. Okay, thank you.